When Terra was touted as the one to watch in the blockchain world, analysts often compared it to another up-and-coming crypto project, namely the NEAR protocol. Considering NEAR's impressive price increase in March of 2022, and also the recent launch of an algorithmic stablecoin project, it doesn't take a genius to notice the similarities. Yet, while that comparison was once a badge of honor that excited investors, the epic downfall of Terra's stablecoin UST, and also its cryptocurrency Luna, have raised plenty of questions about the future of NEAR's stablecoin, and also about the protocol as a whole. But NEAR actually has a lot more to offer, and is often described as a potential Ethereum killer for its impressive technical features. But does it really have what it takes? Well, here at Atomic Wallet, we've built a decentralized wallet where you can store and also exchange more than 300 coins, including NEAR. And if you're like us and can't get enough of everything blockchain, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more insider knowledge about the movers and shakers of the crypto world. But for now, let's get back to NEAR. At its core, the NEAR protocol is a smart contract blockchain with a similar value proposition to protocols such as Solana and Ethereum to mainly facilitate smart contracts and also launch decentralized applications, or dApps for short. But it is quite special seeing as it offers a unique consensus mechanism, it uses sharding, and also its smart contract layer system is quite interesting too. So let's take a look at all of these in closer detail. Now, NEAR follows a proof of stake system, which means NEAR coins are able to be staked to validate transactions. Rewards are received if the transaction is validated and a new block is built, but penalties are imposed otherwise. And something that makes it quite unique is that it boasts a unique consensus mechanism called Doomslug. Here, validators take turns to add blocks to the chain rather than whoever has the largest stake getting the role of validator. And this goes real lengths to promote democracy and decentralization. To boost efficiency, NEAR uses something called sharding, which means that it basically divides the blockchain up into four smaller constituent parts to facilitate quicker transactions. Because not everything has to be stored on the chain, data can be processed quicker. To be precise, NEAR can actually process 4,000 transactions per second across all of its shards. The other crucial component of NEAR is Aurora, its smart contract layer. Aurora runs on the NEAR protocol, but it is compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine and can therefore support all Ethereum dApps, which boasts the feasibility of the NEAR protocol, as most developers actually build on Ethereum. Plus, NEAR actually incentivizes developers further by giving them a portion of the fees used in smart contracts. Now, the NEAR project began in 2017, but didn't go live until 2020. It was actually launched at a value of around $1 in late 2020, but its price started to rise gradually. Otherwise, it followed general market trends, at first rising in May of 2021 and then falling by the end of summer. However, a big price spike came in 2021 when a partnership with Terra helped to pump its value up. Now, like most projects, it suffered from the May 2022 crypto crash, but it's now showing signs of recovery. Plus, it recently raised $350 million in funding, which really goes at length to show the level of interest that it's achieved. Yet, ultimately, its chance of success in the future really depends on how well it fares against its competitors. After all, NEAR isn't exactly the only crypto product trying to be an Ethereum killer, right? And whilst it's safe to say that Luna is well out of the way, NEAR still counts Solana, Avalanche, and Cardano among its biggest competitors. If recent project announcements are something to go by, Solana stands out as the most fierce competitor here, namely because they recently launched plans to launch an EVM-compatible smart contract layer, much like Aurora, while NEAR just launched a NEAR Pay project to rival Solana pay. Coincidence? We think not. Most agree that NEAR has an edge over Solana when it comes to its technical features and its sharding processes in particular stand out among the competition. However, this advantage isn't yet reflected by its numbers. You know, NEAR actually faces a challenge here, and it comes due to the lack of decentralization. Although NEAR has a very good roadmap to decentralization posted on its website, its transparency reports are somewhat lacking. Solana wins here, of course, and its transactions are also cheaper. Perhaps because of this, Binance US is the only mainstream exchange that actually sells NEAR coin in the US. In other words, you could say that the project is nearly there. I mean, it has solid technology behind it, but it does need to get its acts together in other areas. One of the ways NEAR is hoping to up its decentralization is through dynamic resharding, and this would make it possible to automatically create and destroy shards depending on the demand. And since the creation and destruction of shards is dependent on governance right now, dynamic resharding would actually make NEAR more decentralized and efficient as a result. So what do you think? Does NEAR have Ethereum killer potential? 
Will it be eclipsed by shinier competitors or is it doomed to fail? Let us know in the comments. And remember, there is plenty more where this came from. We're committed to giving you the down low on all of the hottest blockchain projects and other must know info. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get an update every time we release a new video. And I will see you next time.